Minamahal ko basta po kayo. Nakaagaw pansin po sa akin sa Facebook ang napakagandang mensahe po mula po kay Ate Ay Contemoner. So, babasahin ko po sa inyo. My Breast Cancer Journey According to Father Pallar, If you are healed, share it to other. It is an act of evangelization. It took me a while to share my breast cancer story. I wanted to keep it private. However, I realized that I have to share it to others to educate everyone the significance of early detection and treatment. It saved life. I want to empower women who are reading this to learn your breast density. Know your option and get the additional screening you may need. And most importantly, I'm sharing my story to proclaim the unwavering goodness, healing power of God. On October 1921, had my annual mammogram. My primary care doctor ordered 2D mammogram only because she did not find a palpable lump during the physical exam. I did not feel anything as well, no symptom. The next day, I received the result. Recommended repeat mammogram since my breast density is heterogeneously dense, which is normal for many women. But the caveat is it may obscure or small masses. It's like the radiologist is looking for a snowman in a blizzard. I am grateful beyond words para my radiologist who have very eyes. Without her keen attention to the picture of a mammogram, the clues she found could have otherwise been overlooked. Every time I have my mammogram, I always pray to the Holy Spirit to guide the technician and radiologist to do the right things. Had 3D mammogram in ultrasound on November 15, 21. During the ultrasound, when the technician went to my armpit, I know it already that she saw something concerning. I felt numb and was shocked when the radiologist informed me that she is very concerned, which led me to have biopsy the following Monday of Thanksgiving week after a week of waiting anxiously got the result on November 29, 21. My childhood fear was confirmed. I have breast cancer. It was ductal, carcinoma in situ, HR positive, and HR, HER2 negative, a common type of breast cancer, not aggressive, treatable, and cur curable. Thanks be to God. The following day, I went to work, received several calls from the Breast Cancer Center of Palo Alto Medical Foundation. I was truly impressed of how they acted swiftly to address my situation. After an overwhelming day, when grocery shopping, trying not be affected by the big C, an unforgettable incident was a stranger happened the day. When I was about to return the shopping cart and about to cry, Cancer diagnostic started to sink in. A stranger approached me and said, I will take care of your cart so that you don't have to walk that far. I thank him and at the back of my mind, he was not worried to touch the cart that I just used, considering it was pandemic time. His simple gesture meant a lot, held back my tears, felt sense of gratitude, went home light-hearted as I lay down the night. The word of the stranger crossed my mind. Remember this voice, but not this, but not this face. I cried. It was there of hope. I interpreted it as if God was talking to me through that human angel that everything will be alright. God, God will take care of everything. The next day, first day of Christmas man, had two appointments. First with, with my primary care. I later choose my surgeon and oncologist, found out that surgeon who performed my thyroid needle removal 2004 was about to retire end of December and not accepting any more new cases and I then met my oncologist. I did not like her initially 
because I did not feel any connection but eventually we become okay. She was honest, no sugar coating when she talks. She looked worried while she was looking at my mammogram and ultrasound result back in 2020 and 21. She said, because of my breast density, I should have had MIR back in 2020. She then ordered MIR and X-ray. She stated, I do not want surprise when they open you up. She explained that if the cancer is already in the lymph nodes, I need to the chemo first before surgery. The next day, I went to my surgeon appointment without knowing the name. When he came into examination room, introduced himself. I was pleasant surprised when he said, "Hello, I'm Doctor Klaus." His name made me feel he was God's gift on Christmas time. I called him Santa. He was comforting and reassuring. Made me feel less anxious. Every time worry set in, I look at Padre Saint Padre Pius' image with a saying, "Pray, hope, and don't worry. God is merciful, and I will hear your prayer." On the day that I had MRI, I attended that online healing mass of Father Joseph Faller, which I've been attending every day since the day I had my biopsy. But on that particular day, something peculiar happened. During the pray over, I felt warmth on my right upper arm and felt a gleam on the tumor site. Then I smelled rose, opened my eyes, realized there are no roses in our bedroom. I told myself it's just it's just imagination, but then I smelled rose again. I burst into tears. For the first time after so many sleepless night, I slept good that night and woke up inexplicably at peace. God will take care of everything. Received my MRI result on December six. Piece of Saint Nicholas, limb nodes normal in size. Thanks be to God. Meet my surgeon, Doctor Klaus. That they explained that what it looks normal in the MRI, he still needs to take out a lymph node for biopsy. I need to have lymph node mapping the day before surgery. It's the use of dyes and radioactive substance to identify lymph nodes that may contain tumor cell. Pass forward, in spite of Omicron surgeon, my surgery happened as planned. The week after my surgery. The unit where I was admitted become a COVID unit. Thanks be to God, my surgery has been done before the peak of Omicron. The day after my sur my surgery, my surgeon informed me that he noted that the cancer had not spread to the skin and underlying muscle. The limbs no look normal, so he he took only one for biopsy. Let's wait for the pathology, he said. The following week. The following week, I had a follow-up appointment with my surgeon and colleagues, who were happy to inform me that my lymph node had no cancer. In the margin, were clean per pathology report. My oncologist informed me that I did not need radiation treatment. She ordered another test called Oncotype DX test, which helped determine how likely it's the breast cancer will return, and whether patient will benefit from having. Chemotherapy, in addition to hormone treatment. After three weeks of waiting, I I was happy to find that the test showed that I did not need chemotherapy. In trust everything to God, and He took care of it. I have heartful thanks to my family, friends, co-worker, prayer warriors, prayer warriors globally, and healthcare them who supported and encouraged me. In my healing journey, both in invisible and invisible way, I am grateful and blessed to be alive and healthy today. Keep it alive. Pray, hope, and don't worry. Worry is useless. God is merciful and will hear your prayer. Very good testimony by a cancer survivor. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. God is God all the time. Praise the Lord, Alleluia. God bless you always, po. I can make God bless you, my dear. Your story is such a touching story, I can. You believe in God paved the way for miracle to happen. 
you are blessed. I do believe in I do believe in miracle like you do. Our planet in him give you strength and help as I overcome our adversity in life. Thanks be to God. God is God all the time. God has extended the ceiling hand to you through San Pedro Pio. The smell of roses is the manifestation of his presence at this moment. You are blessed at the icon and so in, in the family. Dio gracias. Our prayer for you. God bless po. Bless you. Take care and may God bless you even more icon. God is really good all the time. Happy for your healing and great faith in God. Bless you. God is gold all the time. Very inspiring story. Thank you, Ate Icon, for being an inspiration to all. God bless you and your family.